<laughs> oh my god. I don't think he, I don't think he can see you, dude. <laughs> Oh no, that's terrible. <laughs> I know, my friend saved me. Oh shit. I want you to put your hands together. Just the neighborhood. Just the neighborhood. And welcome him to the stage. Big round of applause. Just the neighborhood. Welcome back to the Smoke Screen Podcast, episode 66. Yes, sir. Right. 66. And uh, by the way, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. We did not. <laughs> We not to get to do a episode for Christmas. No, um, we didn't. But that's all I right. I was exhausted. I, I needed a holiday from a holiday. I, I know, you always do. I know. Um, but uh, James here about slipped up and uh, and snuck around and <laughs> watched episode three. But he didn't. He didn't. I had it pulled up <laughs> on my TV. <laughs> I asked him for it just a few minutes ago. Wait a minute. You didn't slip and watch this, did you? He said he pulled it up. <laughs> Came so close. Because he did have people asking, uh, where's the next one? Where's the next one? So here we are. We're going to um, uh, let James react to House of the Dragon Episode 3. Um, and, and this is cool, man, because, I mean, I haven't seen this again since, you know, watching it when it came out. And so I'm almost reacting to it, too. It's funny to watch my react when I'm editing the thing, damn thing. Yeah. But uh, it's pretty pretty cool. I'm glad glad you're back in Westeros. And I noticed something in our last one, too. What's that? I said something, and I saw in when I watched it back, right. you reacted to something I said. And now it's got me really yes, curious. Do you know what I'm know talking, what about. talking about? Yeah. I can't now. I, I'm so curious. I went, yes. <laughs> I remember exactly what you're talking about. I was watching. I was like, oh, wait a minute. It, I might have been on to something. Uh -huh. You might have been. I'm not going to I'm not gonna say anything. But yeah, I, I probably gave you a look. <laughs> you did. <laughs> but um, I was thinking, you know, maybe before we get started, I wonder, let us know for you guys on the Patreon or like channel members. Should we leave like the entire thing up for those guys? You know, oh. like it's without because I, you know, I go through and cut out the the dead zones and yeah. just make it shorter as so we can get to the talking because this technically is a podcast. But I, I wonder if I don't idea. know if that's something they'd be interested in or not. Let us know, by the way. And uh, we're we're growing again. You know, we've been growing uh, pretty good since the podcast came out, uh, started coming out again, which was what September, October. I think so, something like that. Um, but yeah, we're, uh, so welcome everybody new. Hope you guys are digging it and maybe we can, uh, all these new people watching that still have not clicked subscribe, maybe they'll, will earn their subscription here in the next couple podcasts or something. Yeah. But we got a lot of stuff we want to cover. We we're just, uh, real quick. We're going to do, what is that called? Mother God love one or something. Love oh one, yeah. We're going to watch it. And, and that may be a podcast. Yeah, Maybe a podcast. We'll see. Sometimes we do that. Like we've done it in the past where they're, oh, this documentary looks great. And we watch it. It's like, no, yeah. we can talk about that in 10 minutes. It's not really a full podcast, but it looked, it's another cult podcast. So it looks pretty good. Yeah. And then, you know, I'm sure we'll want to touch on convicting mur murder again. Some stuff I want to at least talk about. I hit Chris up and I said, you know, I I thought there might be some traction on our old Gypsy Rose podcast. Yes, um, that's crazy. Since she got released from prison, and then he went and looked and <laughs> came like, back. I was like, like, well, we never did one. We never did one. So we just talked about so much shit, man. Yeah, we talked about it at your and, own house so I mean, many he, times. You said that, and I literally said, oh yeah, that's a good idea. And I went to check to see the numbers, and I was like, maybe I can update the thumbnail and title or whatever just to get some traction again i'm like it's not here we didn't we didn't do one so we just talked about it offline a uh, lot yes, a lot yeah we watched the documentary we watched interviews yes and we thought it might have been our old podcast we were a part of and wasn't there either we so were watching I, like the full interrogations and yeah, stuff and it was insane that's an insane story but yeah i saw where she got out so maybe that's something we can touch touch back, back yeah on. um and and if i could take a second to shout something out real yeah, quick i would it, love absolutely. to um i'm not getting paid by anybody for this uh the you know podcast isn't getting anything for this but i just wanted to take just a second to say i had a really good experience with a company and i thought there it deserves a shout out it's a company called flying box and they make acrylic boxes to protect things that you, you know, like a autographed baseball or, yeah, 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 or something, yeah. uh, just to keep dust off of things and the really nice ones. And I ordered way back in, I think September, uh, an acrylic case for a Lego office set 
that I bought. And uh, Landon put it together. Right. And it looks really killer, but it was just sitting there collecting dust. And so I went shopping and got this case. And I got it. Had the box sitting there for a while. I mean, it probably sat there for a couple months. I finally got time to get it out and put it together. And when I opened the box, a corner was broken off of one of the pieces. Right. So I immediately emailed them. And I said, look, I know it's been a while since I bought this thing. And... I promise you, they responded to me the same night, told me, I'm sorry that happened to you. I'll have to cut out. I don't have them just laying around. I'll have to right. cut those that out for you, but I'll get it out to you ASAP. I got all four walls he cut out and sent to me, and I'm telling you, I have not experienced that level of customer service in such a long time. Yeah. And I think it's worth a, a shout out. It is, man. You don't get that anymore, man. Everybody wants to protect certain things. That's a great company. If you're looking for it, they make quality stuff and the customer service is impeccable. And uh, Flying Box is the name Flying of it. Flying Box. Do they happen to make, uh, I don't know, shoe size? Guarantee it. You know, I guarantee I a, it. Yeah, I got a plan for some shoes. Then to you go could, in a glass yeah, case. display them. That would yeah, look so man. good, man. Yeah, because they're just in a box in a closet right now. I may have to check this uh, flying box out, man. For sure. And and it it does something. Like I enjoyed looking at that office set, but when it's in that case, yeah. it even yeah. it, it's it draws your eyes to it even yeah, more. And I, you know, with all the stuff in here, man. I was I just started cleaning downstairs. I got to do upstairs now with the dust, and man, it all is so hard to get the dust off unless you have like a you know spray bot which i don't that's what can. i did before i put it in yes, the case you got to i hit it with air because especially legos mm -hmm. god man you, all those little every little peg yes <laughs> you can't get it there. but um no that's cool man yeah that's worth that but you don't you don't see that anymore much not much anyway you don't um, uh, so yeah i mean they just deserve you know it's like um when you buy something you only see negative reviews yeah. Most of the time. Nobody takes the time when you have a good experience to go leave a review for somebody, you know. Sometimes yeah. they do. And too often, you feel like you're left on your own when you reach out for yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, tough luck for you. If yeah. you want another one, you know right. where to order well, it. we'll give you another one a half off or yeah. some bullshit, yeah. So I, I felt really good about that, and uh, they got a customer for life. In yeah, me. that's cool, man. Anything I need to protect, I'm going with Flying Box, as long as they're around. Um, but also, really quickly, uh, got to mention this before we actually jump into the reaction here. We are getting paid. <laughs> Absolutely. Ewan Racing again. Ewan. Ewan Racing Chairs, of course. Uh, they've been with us for a while now, um, doing you know sponsoring this podcast. Big and, uh, part. Really appreciate them as partners, uh, continued partners. We'll see what happens in, in the new year. But they are having their new year sales starting up right now. All through the holidays, uh, again, the best uh, chair for the value, for the price, I mean, the value, best value for the price, what I'm trying to say. Yes. You got all the colors and, and, and plain ones for all of us. The, the, I, I put a video in last week when we did the one, and uh, that gray one looks really cool for an office, by the way. I thought the same thing. Yeah, when looks, I watched the fabric. one you put together, yes. oh, my God, it yeah, looks yeah. so, so good. So they got all the leather stuff like we got and all that different colors for rate for gaming, all that stuff. But these are solid black, obviously. And I saw these on another big podcast, by the way, that does reactions to music and um, these same exact chairs. That's cool. But that, that gray one is, is, le is, uh, is, is cloth, and it looks really cool. That, that would be a good office chair. Chair. So not just for gaming. That's right. Um, really good chairs hold up to 550 pounds. They hold our fat asses very well. Damn right. And uh, they hold up for sure. Even when you're on my lap. And <laughs> exactly. And <laughs> Bunk beds. <laughs> I don't, don't ask us how we know that. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> we were testing the chairs, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, thanks again to Ewan Race. And be sure to check uh, them out for the New Year's sale. You can go to the link in the description or in the pinned comment of this podcast on YouTube. And also put it in all the other platforms as well. And use the code SMOKESCREEN at checkout for 30% off your entire order. So no little, like, you know, buy one, get one this or that. That's right. Just no bullshit. You won't be disappointed. 30% straight up. So, again, I uh, appreciate Ewan Racing for sponsoring today's podcast. Thank you, Ewan. Uh, I kind of miss the uh, the old making up stuff. Like, I was going to say search, you know. Yeah. Keep that mini fresh feeling from basement to ceiling. Vagisearch.com. You I know, mean, I miss those, man. These are fun. <laughs> we can still throw some we in. Can. We yeah. can. We won't have a sponsor every week, so we can still make them up. All right. You ready, man? I think Do you remember I'm ready. what happened? So I, I'm ready for the little 
Yeah, uh, you'll get the little thing here. But so, you know, just a quick recap for everybody. You know, we've got, you know, two episodes in. You got Viserys. Something's going on with him, with his helmet. Yes. We don't really know what's going on, but, you know, they're doing time jumps. So we will see in this one, just to no, you know, not spoiling anything, but another time jump, clearly. I think you saw about the preview last week. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, you know, he's been remarried. Now it's to Allison, of course. He chose Allison. So he went with his heart versus who he was expected to marry and Raina and all that kind of stuff. So it's not going to probably bode well for the best friends, at least in I this don't think so. Of the story. I don't think so. Because she was expecting, you know, she remember she said, it's your duty to remarry. I understand. And, you know, but I'm not, he said, he said it himself. I'm not making, you're still my heir. That's, not making it. I'm not, not changing my plans. That's right. That's what he said. So uh, now the marriage is going on, and uh, Damon at the end with Corliss is pissed off, of course, because his daughter was not chosen. And Corliss, uh, you know, being the master of ships, probably is no longer the master of ships at this point. We'll see what happens. But uh, all right, that's uh, that'll that'll give us a little bit of this in our little recap here. So ready? I am ready. All right. He about clicked this and about ruined our podcast, y'all. I know. <laughs> You were saying something about the logo. Yeah, I was saying there's something about that logo. I wonder oh. if that's going to change because, remember, they're going to Max now. Oh, that's right. They are. They're just Max. So, hmm. wonder if season two that'll be. I'll uh, bet. Max there. It's just a classic sound. Though. You can't change the sound, right? I hope not. See, I don't even remember this intro. Like, oh, what, you know, who's who. Because this changes, obviously, over time, right? Based on fire and blood. I wish he'd finished the book, man. All right. House for Lorion. That's their sigil. We need popcorn. We do. Like the old days. We could get some popcorn in, in here. It crunch in these mics, <laughs> wouldn't it? Oh my god. Dude. Fuck your whole mother and fuck He's like Scarface yeah, they, when his buddy's getting chainsawed yeah. in the bathtub, <laughs> spits right, in his face. Right. You might as well go out fucking. That's right. Doing something. Try to get him to kill you at least fast. Oh, 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 It's about damn time. Nope. Yeah, <laughs> Prince Damon. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. I love it. Maraxes, he's my favorite dragon. Man. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't, think he, I don't think he can see you, dude. <laughs> Oh no, that's terrible. <laughs> I know, my friend saved me. Oh shit. Oh man. See, they can't nobody. F- ain't nobody no. fuck with Tarkin. No. <laughs> Look at that. Damn. See, that's the problem with these islands, these caves, man. Look at that. That's cool as shit, man. He lays the grace of his arm and the wing came up, almost like a puppet. 
Oh, shit. Feels the pain. Hmm. That connection they have with those dragons yeah, is pretty, awesome. It's they really... They didn't show it as much with Danny in Game of Thrones, I but know. clearly they're, they made a point yeah. to do that in this one. And you have my nose. Two years old, and already our boy has king. Two years. Yeah, this is. And nine months. Not enough porridge for his hands. <laughs> Rise with you. The matron said, Lord Han. Mm hmm. You're great. Mm -hmm. So they did. I forgot it was two years. Steps down. Yeah, there's a, there's a Lannister man. The crab feeder has dug in for siege on Bloodstone while his men sub. Steel. Matter of the stepstones is is weak. Can someone tell me where in the seven hells Rhaenyra might? <laughs> he reminds me of Yaskier from The Witcher. <laughs> Here we go. Why did you leave the gods that it was? <laughs> Wait, in truth, Rhaenyra. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, isn't this splendid? That's a good shot of King's Landing in the background. We it never was saw really him. cool. No one's here for me. <laughs> hmm. They made all that progress, man. They did. They need to make a show about who goes before them and sets all this shit up. You know, Dude. like who's t like they always have a tent with all the yeah, stuff in the tent. Yeah, they do. Somebody's got to go out there, carry that shit, <laughs> and then set all these tents up and shit. Bunch of damn carnies. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly. That's where they got. That's where it came from. You damn right. You think about that. <laughs> carnies. That's how it is when I walk into work. <laughs> <laughs> sure. If you believe the rumors. Oh, Lord. I fear the gods did not make me for hunting. Here's the club foot. Oh, Lord. Laris Strong, the youngest son of our master's lord, was I not? My lord. The inhospitable place suited only for savages. Perhaps the princess. But the crown is a damn pug. I love, I love that pug. Served along with late Lady Red Wine, Rose, and Kay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Awkward. By eating cake. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't recall, and neither will Egan. A Miss Tyrion. Yes. Lord Jason Lannister. So that's Jason. The other one was Tyland. Okay. He didn't okay. catch that. Looks squid. Wow. Tyland is. Frightfully dark. No leather coat. Made in Lannister, of course. Huh. The house dragons, of course. I do anything for my king. Or. Oh, hell. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, she wasn't trying to hear that. No. He tried. He did. He had the balls. To... He shot his shot. He but did. That was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Marriage one from every corner. <laughs> <laughs> Lake of parchment. <laughs> Better hurry. See ya. Ain't no fucking way I'd ride a horse. Man. I mean, I have. But I won't do it again. Your father. Johnny. Johnny could kill him. That's <laughs> 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 yeah, awesome. Excuse me, Dave. <laughs> Kind of feels like he's courting her a little bit. Yeah, maybe. I'm not that, digging this. There's something weird afoot. Reminds me of Robert going on a hunt. It's scary. Yeah. Outside him. The beast is up with a 35 stone. Listen to this. Yeah. Trying to get him to name that boy. Mm -hmm. After he's the one, remember. Mm -mm. Name Rhaenyra. Is it really a hunt if they do the hunting for you? You know, mm. God, it's just crazy. They might feel that way to a king. Yeah. <laughs> he knows it's all bullshit. Yeah. Dude. Then how could I be out here with you? Once for straight. <laughs> 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 Nera may take her place there by my side without shame and feel herself well compensated. Have you ever been any questions? It's my choice, isn't it? Of course not, your grace. It is yours. There has been nothing of the sort. Damn, he's acting like a king to me. He is. If a king tells you to beware, you will know the fact. Hell yeah. I'm digging this guy. <laughs> I love his little fucking eat shit smile. Ah, damn. That's what I mean. He has his moments, you know, like that. Yeah. But it's just not enough. He's just sick of the politics. And uh, did his finger fall off? I guess it probably did. <laughs> has the trail in his race and is set after hounds and hunts alone. That man's pride has pride. <laughs> <laughs> He's thinking about his own daughter. Mm -hmm. I commanded her. Mm -hmm. You might be more comfortable with one. I mean, what they too often. Yes, but <laughs> betrothed. I can't believe he just said that. Yeah, betrothed him and that would end all the, oh my God. What the hell? I mean, that's not unusual, right? For I Gary, know. Even in this time. But, but damn, like he said, he's two. Yeah, <laughs> I mean. I mean, she already <laughs> hates me right now. What the you fuck do you think she'd think of that? years for that would actually do it when he's, what, 12? God. Yes. He's just sick of this shit, dude. 
He drank all the. <laughs> he drank all the forties. Ain't no more eight ball in this cup. Would have run off with Lord Jason out of spite. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's exactly right. Jordan drove him to the edge of madness. <laughs> <laughs> Tradition in the world. <laughs> That's, That's right. It is. It is. Even to this day. Um, amen. <laughs> Do you wish to hear my opinion on the matter? Sure, I guess. I swear that dude reminds me of me for some reason. I can't quit seeing it. Yeah, I can, now I see it that you said that. The strongest knight in the set. When I had hair. Yeah. I'm flattering you, your grace, but no. <laughs> As for Rhaenyra is the son of the sea slave, Selene. Of course, if Rhaenor survives the fighting in the Sepster. He has been the best dude on his council. I agree. That's the hand right there. Best advice out of anybody. He's been real with him the whole time. The whole time. I swear she's like Arya and Danny mixed or something. Yeah, definitely. Well, I have no choice but to listen to her. Mm -hmm. That's what I was going to say. That's not what she wants to hear, no. though. Oh, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> Oh, I thought they were about to hump. I thought <laughs> <laughs> the horses. Yes, <laughs> I really did. And I was like, "Oh my god, oh shit!" It's gonna put the thought in their head or something. <laughs> oh shit! I don't like this. <laughs> Give me anxiety. Yeah. Not a boar. I said Robert a while ago. Yes. <laughs> oh, hell. Aggressive little bastards. Yes. <laughs> oh, damn. She does have some Aria in her. Yeah. <laughs> I think he got it. Yeah. Now I think he's going to say, if they saw that, they would accept you as their queen. It, yeah. Yeah, she was taking out some pent-up aggression on that. What's that? She was taking out some oh, pent-up yeah, aggression. Absolutely. Bless it. Everything all right? My eyebrows are grown. <laughs> <laughs> he's too damn drunk. Go hunting. <laughs> I mean, he's not doing any hunting anyway. <laughs> That's oh. not not it. You damn yeah. right. Now that's uh, Break Bones. That's his son, Lionel's son. Okay. The one he was talking about. Your grace. At least Robert went out and did his own damn hunting. No shit. Damn, that's a monster. Mm -hmm. God had Ramsey flashbacks right there. There's dogs. Ooh, <laughs> ooh. Damn it, man. Stab the shit out of it. I know. Stop all this misery.
Couldn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> he hates this shit. I'd have to be absolutely starving. Oh, I know. Nope. Never been a hunter. I know everybody around here hunts, but I've never. I know. I mean, like, I'd have to go at least six hours without eating. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I might be able to make it eight before I decide to pick up a bow or a gun. <laughs> or a spear for that matter. But yeah, no, me and Landon were talking about that the other day. I was like, yeah, you get that from me because I just, I've never had it in me. I killed a, bat, a rabbit when I was a kid and that was it, man. I Felt terrible. It. Horrible. Yeah. Absolutely horrible. Dude, I get catch and release mouse traps. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't. Wow. Now there is that is. it? Uh -huh. Oh my God. Talk now about this majestic. Is a symbolism, don't you think, here? I damn I say so. Oh my God. CGI has gotten out of control. It, it, I know. It was just a little weird, just a Barely. tad of weird yeah, movement. Yeah, but compared to what we've no, seen shit. over the years. And look, she she brought home her boar <laughs> and did it herself. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, I guess it hunted her technically, but. Look, this is hilarious though. Everybody's like, what the fuck? With blood all over she's her face got and blood stuff. All over her face and comes home with her own. <laughs> oh shit! I'm trying not to say anything. Cool shot. Yeah, he never got shots like that in God. I mean, it is. I'm not trying to trash on obviously it, at its time it was outstanding but it was more like set based and indoors yeah look at all the weird shit on the walls by the way have you been noticing that what was it the weird shit on the walls i did notice the Kama that Sutra shit. i did what is my son <laughs> see <laughs> What a cunt. Mm -hmm. So punish me. <laughs> At least the wine was good. <coughs> I know See, two fingers. I'll be damned. The wishing. You would have read Lena Valarius. Oh. That is true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> you will not be surprised. Yeah. Problem is everybody else. That's right. You know, I know what this means. Yeah, there, there are a bunch of vultures. You I, know? Know, I know what this means. This means if he makes that statement publicly now they'll have to go to plan B which might be poison her or something to get rid of her to get that boy in there maybe that's not the road this show takes but I'm sure the way that they're all trying to make that happen it would cross their mind yeah I mean See, I don't even know like the books, so like this is all guesswork to me. Well, that's the thing. Remember, they don't have the, all the details like that. You know, they have the basically here's the events that happened. So that's Lainor. That's who he told him to have her near oh. Mary. Is he the one that wrote the note? Yeah, that's Vayman. So that's his we brother. Must give them one. An offering of flesh to bait the crab. Enough. 
I want to suit that armor. Like a, you know, stand up in the corner. That would be <laughs> badass. <laughs> oh, shit. Very complicated. Damn. Look at all those faces around there. They'd little, love to have help. Little Graham. I have all attention to join the effort in the Stepstones. Watch this shit. Though time and circumstance. Um, I man, think that's cool how they had him read it. I do too. And I think maybe the wording of it hit him. Yeah, it did. Wow. Is he surrendering? I know they make this seem like it was hard because of the caves and all that stuff. They could hide from dragons, but if you burn all their ships, what are they going to do? They can't survive. Man, oh shit. My God. He's got a little grayscale there, maybe. My God, Fucking man. Jorah. No shit. I'm pretty sure that was a change from the from fire and blood. Yeah, I was I was thinking maybe he got scorched when it was burning into the cave, but yeah, that is grayscale, ain't it? I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Think he's fucking surrendering, dude. Yeah, him saying, <laughs> I don't want to see you fail or whatever. Yeah. Pissed him he off. He wants to win this motherfucker before that help gets there. That's what it is, yep. And by him fucking by himself. Yeah. They're looking. They're looking up. They just. Yeah, they're scared as hell, ain't they? That's some Jon Snow shit. <laughs> He's got bloodlust right now. Oh, shit. Wow. Hmm. Wow. It's like fucking Jason Voorhees. Don't it do. does, man. <laughs> That's a good comparison. That strap on the back. I like to have a dark sister replica. That's my favorite sword.
Oh, there goes the cavalry. <laughs> oh, hell. Sea smoke. Wow, man. See ya. <laughs> he don't have to say a word, does he? He hasn't said a word this episode. Oh, yeah. Not a single word. His face says a lot. Yeah, right. Going right after. Oh, hell. Yeah, you can't burn that group, right? He's... Man. They need to back up and separate themselves. And just let sea smoke torch them like that. Yeah. Right there. Wow. Look at this shit. <laughs> Are you kidding me, man? He didn't just take his head. <laughs> he oh got. my god. <coughs> he just put him in third. Oh my god, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, hell. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Man, I'm going to tell you what. His brother is going is going to get it cuz they're going to find out about that letter and look at that shit. My gosh, man. <laughs> So, what you think? Man, I think uh, Damon's going to be a handful in this show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, uh, you're, he was right, though. He, that, that, that letter, it, it made him feel good that his brother loves him. Uh huh. But he, he's still too prideful to take the help. He, he's like, we're going to go, I'll be the, I'll go out there myself and die. Yeah, the way and he said, the I can't let, you know, something about your loss or something. Uh, the way he yeah, worded it. He said our loss, actually. He and said it, our loss, yeah. Yeah, it was just like, uh, I mean, I can, since I can you can't get it done, yeah, I'm coming. But I can understand, too. You've been fighting this for two years now, three years going on, and ain't said a word. Mm -hmm. We're down here dying and shit. Yep. And now, all of a sudden... You want to send help, and so at the same time, it was like one of those things where he, it's on on some level, he was happy that his brother acknowledged him, but no, don't send help now, motherfucker, you know. And so he was the bait for that crazy ass draw him out of the caves, mm -mm -mm. and took a few arrows for it. Yes, he but did. He didn't say a word, so he wasn't in it very much, obviously, you know, with the whole hunt and everything. But he didn't say a single word that episode, and he you, you could. Tell everything he was thinking. Damn right, man. Not a single word dialogue. That was pretty cool. That was cool. <clears throat> but, yeah, I mean, Viserys is such a good, interesting character in this show. He's really, Patty Constantine, I said it before, knocked it out of the park. You just don't know anything about other than basic stuff from the book. Like, he's just, he wanted to please everybody. And he's, and he's showing that, obviously. Yeah, he, he even says it. But just the depth of it, you know, how much he's pulled this and that and being a king. And that's the whole thing, right, is this is the most dangerous seat in the realm, even though it looks like from the outsiders he's just, you know, some high-living, highfalutin king who can do whatever he wants. Yeah. He, he, you know, he wants to please everybody. 
and they're all and Damon's right, they're all vultures, you know, to some degree. I think uh, I think Strong is probably the one who actually gives a gives a damn about him as a person because he's giving him real advice, you know, to some degree. Yeah, I like him. And uh, the yeah, I saw that we got a we got another Holy subscriber crap. rush starting. Eight hundred and fifty five since the last time I looked. Oh, it was, wasn't it? Damn, I didn't. Wasn't it just fifty five? Wow. It was. So th this 80, is that time 40. of night that these things start kicking in. These ads, it's crazy. I don't know what's going on. Um, damn, Look at that. This is like Game of Thrones days. Man, it we're over is. here looking, by the way, at a, a sub counter because of testing. It's ads just out. ticking, it's man. Just rolling like back in. This is like the live stream days after season it seven. Was what a cool ad campaign. I mean, that's uh, crazy. That's really cool. Um. So welcome new people to the podcast. Yeah, that's what man. We're promoting, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's really it's really character driven. I mean, the the Renera stuff is what makes it right. With uh, yeah, you know, she's you had her best friend. Now, obviously, in a couple of years, they're probably been. I'm sure they've fallen apart to a lot, a, lot, a big degree. I was going to say some small degree. No, uh, they've really not not really friends anymore. Uh, they, she's more she's more formal with her, yeah. You know, because she's the queen. This is one thing that's confusing me. You said she wasn't aware of the visits and stuff. Yeah. So she remember, basically just feels like her father just plucked her out of her life and took her. I guess, then why would yeah. she be upset with her? I could right. see her being upset with her dad. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, I don't think they make it clear to my knowledge, unless I just don't remember something. But remember, he had said specifically, you know, Rhaenyra don't know about this back in. He the, did, but and she says no, your grace. But I don't know if she's found out or whatever. Yeah, I don't maybe. know if they ever clarify that or with one of their conversations. But you would think that would happen like this episode, right? Yeah. Because this is three. I think we got two more with the young actors before oh. they switch. Oh. That's going to be a trip. Season. So that's the last big time jump. Okay. So now wow, we have. Wow, that's going to be a trip. Yeah, it's, it is. And so now we have obviously Aegon, right? So he's the oldest, two years old now. Okay, so you got you got Damon on this side, right? You're going to have another one. Very similar in some ways to Damon coming really? later. Um, named Aemon. Oh. And uh, those, that will be, that's a great. I don't want to spoil anything. Story with him and Damon to some degree later, but anyway, so he's going to have more kids, obviously. Like Maester <clears throat> Damon, yeah, that name, yes. Okay. Yep. yep. Uh, so that will be you'll see that coming second half of the season, but you know as they grow up and stuff. So, and then you know, Renera does get she did say like you know choose your your husband, you know if you want whatever. So we'll see what happens with that, but. Um, it, it's going to get interesting. And More is Blood Raven old enough to be in this? No, not not quite. He's okay. very close. Uh, is he? Within fifty, and well, I see it now. Where it was like a one hundred seventy-two years. Once you get down to around a hundred years, then he he will be the next generation, two uh, generations. Okay, but you know, in this day and age, it doesn't. Nobody lives to be a hundred. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like us, we might know that person. Right, yeah. right. But yeah, so Blood Raven will be alive in obviously the Dunkin' Egg books as a young knight. Ooh. So very. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that shit. No to shit. To see how much he was connected with his uh, Green Seer side, because it that was always would be cool. It was it? always a thing in the in the books and in you know the Dunkin' Egg novels um, or novellas. That he ruled with magic and sorcery, that and would he be probably so cool, did some man. And uh, so we should see his uh, pale skin and red eyes in uh, Duncan Egg. Well, he, it's not a big part, but he'll be in there. Am I picking up vibes with Renera and the Knight? I think so. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think so to some degree, and that will have a big impact. Now, again, I don't want to say too much. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I hope I'm not making little comments that are. I, no, I think you're fine. But uh, yeah, that's definitely uh, will be a thing, uh, or could be a thing. Potentially, yeah. it's a thing. <laughs> I mean, 
you know, you sit out there and get to know somebody, and she he's he's your Which personal is what guard. She wants right to be able to choose. Right, him. but the problem is, is right. She named him to the king's guard and her personal guard, so he's like assigned to her at all times. But he's just taking vows of celibacy and took the white cloak. Oh God, dang. so there you go. Oh shit! See these stupid rules. How yeah, stupid is that man. rule as a king's guard to never have own lands, titles, and you can never have a wife or kids or. And celibacy. Now, you know they fucking break that, but just saying, the rules. State. So it's like the Night's Watch? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. Uh, and, you know, the Night's Watch, it's clear they all break that. They go down to Moles Town. Yeah. But nobody's really caring. Nobody really cares. But the, the Owning Watch, Lands and all that stuff, they do that's right, give that's all true, that up. Right. Yeah. They do hold that up. But Kingsguard is in a public eye, very much in the public eye, and, you know, there is... It is a very honorable thing, mm -hmm. but you know, people are people. Men are men. <laughs> I mean, come on. But yeah, that may have something to do with, you know, there'll be, be some damn. tension there, and then he can't do anything about it, or can he? You know, that's um, the question. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait. So, how many episodes? Ten. Ten. Yep. That's exciting. Yeah, and then uh, for some reason they're already going to. I think it's only eight in that season two. They said I'm not sure. I believe it's eight. So even though longer? it's only the second season, I don't know. Like they but did on some of those episodes? You know how they started doing God at the end? They did what? Episode season seven was eight, and then season eight was six. So that we're was only so season frustrating. two dropping down to, to eight episodes. I believe. I could be wrong about that, but I believe that's what I heard. But Well, I'm digging this, man. I really am. Yeah, and it's good, man. And this is better. Like I said, it's better for me the second time. Like, I mean, I'm seeing a little bit more, and I'm – you know, I'm, I'm, I've hadn't read Ice and Fire and all this stuff, all the books in so long that now I'm starting to forget little things. Or, but they'll, they're starting to, they kind of come back when I start thinking about a character. I um, don't know Sea Smoke. I've never heard that. That's a cool name. Yeah, that's one of the major dragons. He's that. He looks like Drogon, but gray. So he's that same style as cool. Drogon. Cool. Okay. And and Lainor rides him. Uh, mm -hmm. and that will. Again, without spoiling things, you know, dragon riders change when people die and stuff. But really? we have, we're not, in, you know, we'll see how far it goes with this story. Uh, I'm assuming this is a three to four season thing before it can, they can't drag this out like seven, eight years, you know. Yeah. There's not enough. I know there's I things good. I want to like blur there's out. There's things I want to ask, but I, I just, I know, I'm, I know. I'm, I'm, I'd rather wait. I keep like blurt, wanting to blurt out, but I'm like stopping myself because. <laughs> Cause I like I'm judging people on how I know they will be. You know what I mean? Uh, later, because you, like I said, that's what's the that's thing about God and this specifically is you like all these characters pretty much to some degree. You like most everybody for one reason or another, but they're gonna they're gonna fight. And then you're like, who do you pull for? You know? And is there somebody that's got the moral high ground? And all those weird questions, you know? But all centered around Rhaenyra and her being the heir. I hear that if if we like this show, uh, there is a an eight season um, <laughs> sequel. <laughs> that I HBO heard that. already has. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, like I think it's that, the ancestors of these people. I think so. <laughs> kind of like that basketball said, player you had over there. Preview. You said you had shoes too. Yeah. <laughs> like, she said. She said in that preview, the song of ice and fire. He, I like. I that. wonder if that guy's in that new show, that pre, that sequel show. I bet that's why they showed that. I bet it is too. I wonder if we'll see that knife there. She was looking at in the like the sequel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that would be cool. That, that the like dagger a, does look cool. It'd be like it. 170 years later, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and we see their ancestors, <laughs> and maybe in that show they'll talk about this these people. Maybe so. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Joffrey ruined this thing. Joffrey. He did. I want to go back and watch it. Dude, that dude had it so bad, he quit acting. Jack Gleason. He quit. Bless it. I think he went back now to like some things like on a part As far as like basis. being typecast as him and stuff? Oh, I don't know if it was just that. He just said, I don't want to do this no more. Oh, wow. I'm tired from acting. When you <laughs> brought up Ramsey Bolton. Oh, I'm, my God. I thought about it when I saw them dogs. Yeah, and you're right, man. <laughs> Ram God. Ramsey flashback. Let's... Let's do those. Let's go back and watch we it. We gonna have to, man. Those are fun. I mean, and I, I was having a, a blast watching with Ken. And it, she just, she's just that you know got that just like watching. Looks like she's bored. She's she's interested in it, but she just looks like that. She don't want to talk about it much, you know. I get it. But but it's it's fun seeing the old. They're so good. They're so. 
this, you know, first four or five seasons are so good. So, so good. Yeah, we'll have to do that sometime. But we will, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to podcast stuff, by the way. I know yeah, some people, I mean, I haven't seen any negative comments or anything, but we're, we got a lot of cool stuff we want to talk about as far as just the podcast in general. So I know right now we're doing reactions, but James here is getting itchy and he's going to start cheating if we don't get it done. Yeah, I think that will happen. <laughs> you might, we might have to come back and sk we skip an episode because, because he's damn press play at home. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> no, but I get it. You want to binge it all night. Yeah, you could. You do when you get into this, this kind of stuff. This is very bingeable. Yep. But <laughs> anyway, I guess we'll get out of here. Yeah, man. We'll uh, we'll do it again and um, happy New Year, everybody. Yes. Um, you know we uh, this will come out I guess on New Year's Day. I guess. I think so. Uh, yeah. Tuesday? Yeah. Is that is that the first? First I'm, is Monday. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. the second. Okay. And um, I w I will say this: my New Year's resolution. I oh, told him at work oh. is. To be more positive in 2024. There you I go. I have turned into a negative Nancy. I, I, in, I have to to some life. degree, and, and that comes with age. I think mm -hmm. you just see, I, you know, it's more realism. I think, but yeah, it can. I, I'm the same way, man. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you try get to, back to my old ways. That's a good one, man. That's a good one. And it's not, and it's realistic. It is. You know, it's not some yeah. bullshit thing people say. And yeah, it's not some big, yeah, big goal or promise I have to put in place and then feel like a failure <laughs> right, a couple months exactly. later. You feel good for a week and then you, yeah. <laughs> and then you're right back to same old habits. Yeah, that, that's that's a, that's fair. That's a good one. I'll join you in that too. Awesome. I'll join you in that too. That's a good one. Because uh, you know, positivity is contagious, just like negativity. It, absolutely, hundred percent, so man. If I can spread a little bit of positivity, and yeah. then that spreads from there. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, hopefully, you know, like we used to get the, those great, those comments I send you. You know, I send every once in a while, I'll see a great comment, and I'll still send it to you. Yes. When we, that's what makes this stuff worth it, right? YouTube, podcast, oh, yeah. whatever, is those handful of comments. You know, we that one I sent you was, you know, Went through a rough time with this and that, but you know, you guys just chatting yep. and having fun on this podcast or a video or a live Touches stream. You, man. It really does, man. And then all of a sudden, all that, you know, stuff about growth and, you know, views and listens or whatever it is, you know, kind of, it's not as, as important anymore. And because uh, if, you, if you're in some way touching somebody's life and making their day a little better, that's cool, man. It, it really is. is. And whoever you are, Anonymous. Yes. He got your letter. Anonymous. I'm sorry. I meant to say that at the beginning of the podcast. So, I, damn, maybe I'll put a timestamp. So, real quick, we got a letter. We won't say what it's about right. yet, just in case. But uh, I think it was sent in late October. I just don't check that P.O. box very often because I don't really get anything much in, in anymore. But we sent it sent, since, I believe, our first or maybe second convicting a murder podcast. It kind of blew up a little bit. And then mm -hmm. we got contacted by people. Um, we got a letter from anonymous about some other potential scandal slash conspiracy. Yeah. Uh, so I need to go through that whole thing and read it, but yeah, we'll check it out. I Definitely. Showed it to James earlier. It's going to take some research yeah. and um, <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 it almost feels like investigative journalism. It type. really, it really does. Type that stuff. would be, yeah. So, From what we've read so far, mm -hmm. a little bit. So that's cool, though. That somebody's thinking like, "Hey, we can break something over here." Yeah, so. that would be so cool. That's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, uh, if anonymous, if you're watching, we got it. I'm sorry it was a little late, but again, I just don't. I ran by there today, going somewhere, and I was like, "I'm right here. Let me check the PO box." And there it was. I'm glad you did. But that's cool, man. Yeah, we'll definitely dig into that, but see what it's about. Awesome. All righty. Well, we'll get out of here, and uh, we'll see if James can make it till uh, next week or whenever in, to season, or I'm sorry, episode four. And uh, we'll get out of here and let it uh, fade to black.